This area was the home of the miners from the Hugo Colliery. There were over 5,000 people here, and I was one of them. The young people today don't work there anymore. If anything, they play football on the street. In the Ruhr area, Germany's old coal and steel producing region, mines and football go together. Many famous players grew up in the shadows of the Shaft Towers, a tradition that continues today with a new generation of youngsters from Schalke. Our parents or grandparents worked in the mine shafts. It's still a good feeling when I see one of these towers. When I'm on the road with the team and heading home, or I'm in a plane and I see the first colliery, then I know I'm home. Two 19-year-olds, Leon Goretzka, a dynamic midfielder with a nose for goal, and Khan Ayhan, a defender with a precise shot and a keen eye. Two children of the Ruhr area on their way to visit a very special place, a football museum at the old Hugo Colliery. Its collections were assembled by the people who used to work here. That shirt up there on the left is one of the oldest ones. And I think that's one of the things that makes Schalke so special as a club. The history they've got. And of course it makes us proud to pull on their shirt every weekend. Big names, great memories. The latest item on display is from Real Madrid, Schalke's last opponents in the Champions League. These guys hope to make it back there next season. Our aim is the Champions League, just like every footballer. We young players have managed to do that really early. And once you've played in it, you never want to miss out on it again. We're well on our way. And we'll do all we can to get back there next season. Coal mining and football are two pillars of tradition in the Ruhr area, a region that has produced many great players. And now Leon Goretzka and Khan Ayhan have taken their place among them.